G'day you all, uh, welcome to Project Pathfinder, which is essentially a classic example of life imitating art. So uh, what the project is, is we're going to do this vehicle up uh, into the same guise as the vehicle mentioned uh, and described in this book. So what I'll do now is I'll just give you a quick walk around. Uh, this is the obviously the before, uh, and as we step through the project, um, I'll keep updating you with it uh, and see how we go. So first of all, just take a tour from the front, around to the sides, uh, back to the front. Right now for the walk around on this beautiful sunny Brisbane day. Uh, so the first thing that you might have spotted now, and I'll just zoom in a little bit as well, is the actual. Um, paint peeling there on the bumper so that's definitely one of the things that we're going to get fixed uh, and everything else is as per the book okay modification that I have done thus far is the um, if you notice up on the top uh, of the roof rack there is the uh, Pathfinder decal everything else is standard wheels standard all right we'll just move in and open up the back okay some of these may or may not appear in the book as well Okay, quick view of the interior. Uh, it's all very much standard. Uh, TI model, so it's got the fake wood inserts there on the doors and on the console. And then we have a copy of the said book. So all the leathers in good condition. Uh, the DVD player, as you can see, is wrapped up there so it doesn't drop down. And Annoying. Yeah. Six stacker standard CD player. And just the standard trim settings for this year and model. nearing the end now, just back around to the front. So once again just let me know what you think the modification should be. Um, we're going to do it as on par. It's, like I said, it's life imitating art. Uh, have a read and tell me what you think. And once again welcome, thanks for tuning in to Project Pathfinder, I'll update you as we step through each and every single modification. Thanks for your time. I don't think so.